Okay, so now I'm getting ready to do my sourdough. To turn it out onto this piece of parchment. And I am going to I'm going to try something new. I saw somebody, I think it was Lisa on Farmhouse on Boone do this. Where? Hold on, where's my brush? Here it is. What you Okay, so what I'm so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let's hold it up. Um, where did I, okay, everything but the bagel, I'm going to try putting everything but the bagel on top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dip this in water, I'm going to just kind of, this sounds really greasy, I'm going to add some water to the top of this dough, not too much, but I want to have enough to have that everything but the bagel stick. Okay, let's hope that's enough. <laughs> and then open this up. I'm going to shake some of this out on top. If I thought about it, I probably would have uh, mixed it in with the, the dough like I do with uh, the rosemary when I make rosemary bread. But guess what? I didn't think about it. You can, uh, I'm going to score this. I don't know that this dough is going to, this bread's going to come out because the, um, because my, uh, I need to move this. Because my, um, sourdough starter was not where it needed to be. But I was just like, I'm not, I live in a very cold house. Uh, we've had a very, very bad cold snap uh, for a while now. It's been um, like in the teens here in northern Texas. And uh, I'm usually not someone that puts a, a heater on um, until it gets really like, I think it's in the 40s or something inside the house, I'll put it on. But we couldn't put the heater on at all. We couldn't put the heater on at all because it's broken. So it's been like very cold in this house. So sourdough starter, bread, and everything won't rise. Um, you know, it just won't rise. It's just too cold. My kid, my birthday was January 19th. I turned 64. My kids went in together and bought me a Broad and Taylor um, proofing box. So I'm trying to figure out how to work that. And I think my um, starter had already come up and was already totally active and then overnight it fell a little bit, but I didn't want to throw it, throw it out and start again. So I thought, okay, let's just give it a go and see if it'll work. So that's what we're working with today. Let me move this so I can get this out. We're gonna pop this dough in there. And I'm going to add a couple ice cubes. Woo! A couple ice cubes around the side. about uh, 
have 25 minutes. All right. Um, that's what I got going there. And then also, I was making some. We're trying. I haven't. This is a sourdough English muffin. This recipe, I haven't really. I've been using Lisa at Farmhouse on Boone. I've been using her um, recipe as a as a main recipe. Um, it comes out a little sticky. I feel like it needs more um, flour. So I added more flour to this and it still feels a little wet, but I'm going to see how it can grab. Let me put some butter. I'm going to reheat my coffee because um, it keeps going cold. Oh, I don't think I have enough butter in there. All right. That's what they look like right now. We'll see what happens. The finished bread.